A very good morning, my dear students. I hope you are fine and safe at your places. I suggest you all to please stay at home and do not go out without any reason. Because as you all know that it's not safe outside. All right. Okay, uh, so now let's proceed with our syllabus of computer. Before starting the new chapter, let me tell you our UT2 syllabus for class 2. And remember, it's syllabus for UT2, not for term 2. Alright? So, two chapters are there for UT2. That are chapter number 2 and chapter number 3. Chapter number 2 is role of a computer. And chapter number 3 is input and output devices lesson number two is on page number 13 and lesson number three is on page number 22 let's start with our first chapter for ut2 that is <coughs> lesson number two role of a computer all right so page number 13 Open this page and children, today in this video, I will only give an introduction, brief introduction about the chapter. Alright, for further uh, explanation of this chapter, wait for the next video. Okay children, so next is role of computer on the same page, role of computers. So let's start reading. Dear friends, I'm sure you all must have heard fairy tales. In such stories, the fairy has a magic wand in her hand and she can do anything by using that wand. So fairy tales, you must have heard about them or seen them in cartoons or movies, in animated movies. Right? So, fairy always have one stick or a magic wand in her hand. So, and with that wand, she can do anything. Right? You all know about that? So, in, in the present world, a computer acts no less than a magic wand. You can do many tasks with this wonderful machine. So, for you, computer is your magic wand as it can do many tasks for you. You all know a computer do many tasks for us like uh, painting or playing games, listening to music, watching movies, right? So, computer can do many tasks for us. So, it is not less than a magic wand, right? Next is you, uh, uses of computers in different areas or we can say that role of a computer at different places. <coughs> like computers in school, computers in offices, in banks, at home, at railway station and airport, in hospitals, in entertainment, right? So, there are so many places in which we can use computer and it uh, makes our work very easy and fast too. So, we will uh, check these points or we will read them one by one in our next video. Alright. So, I have given the brief introduction about the chapter to you today so, you, so that you can start studying. Alright. So, we will... Uh, read them one by one in our next video. Till then, please write down your syllabus safely with you. Alright? And read the chapter by yourself. Once. Okay, children? Thank you.